Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a little different. It's going to be a lot shorter than usual, but I really want to go over this video because it kept coming up on my YouTube home and it's giving me a lot of analog horror vibes. So I thought it fits in with the content that we have on here. This video is called The Kid in the Camera, a short horror film. This is actually one of those claymation type videos. It's basically about a kid and his camera at night. That's all I'm going to say. I don't want to spoil it. We'll get into it shortly. Grumbled Entertainment, who is the creator of this video, their link to their channel will be in the description down below. Please be sure to go support the original creators and their content. But all right, let's just jump right in because I'm really interested to check this one out. This already feels like a kid's TV show. Star O'Clock Stories. The Kid and the Camera. Once upon a star, there lived a boy named Caleb. Caleb. He was a happy little tot of six years old. And on his birthday, he received a very special gift. His very own photo camera. Very cool. Caleb loved the camera. So much that he took it out every day, snapping photos of anything he could. You love a young little photographer. Until one day, a terrible accident happened. Oh no. Caleb, gotta watch where you're going, man. Oh nah. Broke. Come on, man. Caleb didn't sleep a wink. Haunted by thoughts of his once perfect camera late into the night. That was when a sudden sound caught his attention. Knocking? Alright, the creepiness went up by like 10 already. Knocking on the window. Open the curtain, I want to see. And there stood on the other side of Kalen's bedroom window a large winged creature. Hello there, young lad, greeted the creature. I'm the Kipsneed, your sleep fairy. Sleep fairy? Sleep fairy. That is correct, replied the Kipsneed. My job is to make sure you get a good night's sleep, but it's come to my attention that you haven't been resting at all lately. I'd like to know the reason why. Kalen had never heard of a sleep fairy. Yeah, it's a little sketchy. My parents told me not to talk to strangers. Strangers? I'm no stranger. I know all the girls and boys around the globe. I know their parents, their homes, their names. Why, I even know your name, Kalen. Would a stranger know your name? No, you're right. I guess that's perfectly enough proof and everything here seems totally normal and fine. Totally nothing wrong going on here at all. Kalen thought on it for a moment. No, I guess not. If you must know why I'm awake. It's my camera. It's broken. And just like that. Tears welled up in Kalen's eyes. Aw, don't cry. Let me see. <coughs> and the Kipsneed had an idea. Why don't I get this camera fixed for you? Perhaps that would help you sleep easier. That is very nice. You could do that? Of course, and I know just the place. A factory in my homework. I'll lead you to the portal. Just follow my voice. Nope. Nope. Done. Done. I already know where this is going. I know Caleb. My bad. I've been calling him Caleb. It's Kalen. Kalen should definitely realize there are some red flags here, and we should not follow this thing back to its home world, but I'm sure he's going to anyway. And the Kip's need disappeared into the night. No, no. Caelan followed close behind the Kipsneed. Is that a forest? It's 
snapping photos to mark the way in case of getting lost. Oh, the photos are like real life photos too. I didn't even realize that before. So the camera still works. The screen is just broken and you could even still see what was on the screen. Oh, hell no. At last, Kaylin reached a house. It's giving Vromia vibes when Jackson found the house in his yard. Oh, how now, Kaylin? Seems quite abandoned, thought the boy. And dark, but there was the Kip's Needs voice again, beckoning. The portal to my home world's inside, come along. No, why would the portal be in an abandoned house, Kaylin? I must have my camera fixed. So, in spite of his obvious fright, Kalen marched into the home. <sighs> R.I.P. Oh no, don't be taking pictures. Oh, this is how I'm going to see what happens to him, is through pictures? Oh, that's... There's something not okay about that. Not the basement! They can't hear your screams from the basement! Kaylin, no. Run while you can, man. No. Some weeks later, authorities discovered the basement. The rest of the boy was never found. Nah, so the only thing left of him was his feet. At least we know the killer doesn't have a thing for feet. Ah, oh, man. I can only imagine what this creep's face looked like. I think what's definitely creepy about this is that it's somewhat a scenario that can happen in real life. Maybe the person wouldn't look like the sleep fairy or whatever, but there are definitely creeps out there that try to lure children like this. This is a very realistic type of horror other than the supernatural stuff that we're used to on here. Another creepy thing is if you notice, the sleep fairy has been stalking Kalen for a long time, knows his name, and knows that he's been having sleeping issues, which means that he's definitely been around for a while and only noticed the recent development where he's up at night. So it was kind of like he was waiting for his perfect moment to attack, which is just adds to the creepy factor of it. And given how this guy went about this, it's probably not the first kid either. Also guys, as always, please be sure to go support the original creator. Grumbled Entertainment definitely worked super hard on this and it was honestly incredible. Now again, this video is just a lot shorter than usual. I really just want to go over this one. And the next video is probably gonna be a little long and detailed. We're going over the new videos in the Vromia series. Yes, don't worry guys, I saw the new episodes of Vromia are out. I will be going over them. If you're watching this the day it releases, I'll be live streaming later today, so make sure to come through to that. Gonna be playing a new horror game by Chillo's Art. Also, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like on it and comment any thoughts or theories that you have down below and if you're new here please subscribe we are super super close to 200k also big shout out to all my members i love you guys so much you guys are the best and all right guys i will see you in the next one peace